The missing requirements, number four, religious emblems. Religious emblems not can be earned at any rank. Each religious group has their own system to, of awards for scouts at every level. All scouts can wear the purple and silver emblem knot after earning just one of these awards. The religious emblems programs are created by the various religious groups to encourage youth to grow stronger in their faith. The religious groups, not the Boy Scouts of America, have created the religious emblems programs themselves. The Boy Scouts of America has approved these programs and allows the recognition to be worn on the official uniform, but each religious organization develops and administers its own programs. So before you can earn your religious emblem, you must go through these steps. Step number one. First, youth members must obtain the specific booklet of their religion. This booklet will contain information on all the lessons and service projects they will need to complete in order to earn the religious emblem. Each member needs to have his or her own booklet to document their progress. Some religions also provide adult manuals for counselors and mentors. Check with your local council to see if stocks of these books are available in the store or if you must contact the religious organization directly. Second, step two, parents must review the specific program guidelines for their particular religion. There may be age or grade requirements that vary from program to program. Some programs require that the youth be an official member of the local religious institution. Others may not. Each program determines who may serve as a counselor or whether a counselor is needed. Third, families should talk to their religious leaders that and show them the booklet before beginning the program. Most religious emblems require that they be completed under the instruction of that religious organization and may require the signature of the local religious leader and possibly the counselor or mentor. Again, check the specific eligibility requirements for your religious pr program before starting. And fourth, the member needs to complete the requirements obtain the proper signatures and follow the instructions in order to be awarded the emblem. The emblem can be presented at any time of the year and should be presented in a meaningful ceremony, preferably in the member's religious institution. Some religions have special ceremonies that they conduct to award the emblem at a specific time of the year, often near Scout Sunday, Scout Sabbath, or Scout Juma. How to wear the knot and the emblem. Scouts who earn a religious emblem may wear the purple and silver knot. Some religious traditions have awards for Cubs, Weeblos, Scouts, BSA, and older Scouts or Venturers. If a Scout earns multiple awards, they can wear the pin device on their emblem knot to show which levels they have earned. Scouts may also wear all the emblems that they have earned at special occasions, such as Courts of Honor. Prey Publishing is a vendor for most of the mainline Protestant traditions. As you can see here, you, there are two awards, the God and Church Award and the God and Life Award. The God and Church Award is also awarded with a specific device for the faith tradition that you belong to. The God and Life Award is a simple award without any specific tradition attached to it. You can go to Prey Publishing's website for more information about earning these uh, emblems. Other religious traditions have a single award for Boy Scouts. Very few of them have a separate award for Older Scouts or Venturers, although Older Scouts and Venturers can also earn the award for that faith. You must contact your council or religious tradition in order to find out what the requirements are and to whether or not you will need a counselor from that faith tradition. A few faith traditions have a separate award for older scouts and for venturers. You can see these awards here. Finally, in order to be a chaplain's aide, it is usually required that the scout is working on their religious emblem or has already earned their religious emblem. 
before becoming a chaplain's aide. The chaplain's aide also helps scouts by telling them about the Religious Emblems program at least once a year and helps recognize troop members who have earned their religious emblems. This has been Scouter Rob. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for more great videos just like this one. Happy scouting!